Okay, so here we are. We've made some alterations. Mm, it's been very difficult to disguise all of the cracks and the glue marks that have uh, breached the cello's body. So I decided to go ahead and just change the entire game plan and use a technique called uh, relief age relief um, texturing of the wood so that it looks like it's an ancient piece and therefore the cracks are well disguised and I think it's gonna actually look beautiful once we get it uh, varnished into a, a nice darker tone in the light tones and then put a nice glossy beautiful lacquer finish on it um, and let it set really really well and then uh, then I think the piece is gonna be actually very pretty so let's uh, let's hope for the best and I'm loving this this is another one of those transition moments when when uh, um, I asked Isabel who is the the owner of this cello if she would uh, if she would uh, like the idea of maybe using some kind of a texture or a, a like a, a lion uh, or a tiger tiger finish which I would call this more like a tiger finish and uh, and she uh, was uh, a hundred percent committed to it she liked the idea she likes to be different and this is definitely gonna be put her in that category so this is going to be a real unique piece and we're going to continue to to document how it comes together so uh, we'll leave you for now and um, I know it looks kind of crazy right now but it'll look good later I guarantee you.